Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I tested positive for COVID last week. I know, it finally happened to me. Thankfully, it hasn't been too bad, I'm assuming, because of the vaccine. So my symptoms weren't the most severe. I did lose my taste a little, which kind of sucks, but it's not fully gone, so I'm at least thankful for that. For the last seven days, I've been quarantining with my boyfriend, who, by the way, is still negative after five different COVID tests on different days. We've just been quarantining together because he is still obviously Obviously exposed to someone who is positive. It's just so weird how it works and some people just don't get it. But I'm finally back at my apartment after a whole week. Anyways, I've been cooking a lot over the last week. Mostly Korean recipes that are really good and soothing for those that are sick. So while I'm still sick, I wanna show you guys what I eat in a day, COVID edition. Also, I don't care what anyone else says, but being sick gives you the license to wear PJs all day all week and that's that and i do want to shout out naywai again for sponsoring today's video those of you that are unfamiliar with naywai let me put you on naywai is a luxury lingerie and loungewear brand inspired by women's freedom and comfort and emphasis on the comfort everything and i mean everything that they make is made to live in exhibit a you guys have seen me wear these pajamas to death this is the classic embroidered pajama set and underneath i'm wearing their barely zero bra you guys know this is literally the only bra that i wear ever period there are no wires this is one size if it's a size a to a double d cup and it is the most comfortable bra i have ever owned or worn ever since i discovered new eye i have not worn a normal bra it's made from their patented cloud fit fabric which gives it that ultra comfortable buttery soft feel I've even just given my bras to some girlfriends because I was like you need this in your life like I can't believe you don't even have a single bra from Naywai for any of my last minute gift shoppers out there Naywai is a great option for any woman in your life you can get 20% off your first Naywai order using my code Freesia Breakfast today is going to be some chuk, aka Korean porridge, and this is going to be so simple. This is also really soothing if you have a sore throat, so let's, let's go and get started. That's just so warm and comforting right now. Lunch today is going to be some duck mandukuk. Oh, I cringe every time I hear myself say that because I can hear my American accent when I say that. Ugh. In English, that would be translated to rice cake and dumpling soup. Usually, this is a traditional dish you eat for New Year's, but it just tastes so good. I also made homemade dumplings with my boyfriend while we were quarantining together, so I'm using some of those.
This looks freaking amazing. I already know it's amazing because I tasted it already, but <laughs> we're going in right now. Oh, yes. Get some duck. Some of that rice cake with the egg. Mmm. Ooh, that hits the spot. Thank you, Lord, for Korean food. These beautiful handmade dumplings by yours truly. Mmm. I made a little soy sauce vinegar dipping sauce. Mmm. My dumplings do be fire. Funny story, while my boyfriend and I were making dumplings, we took a break to eat, and I think he took a shower or something, but he made five dumplings that he had just left out in the dumpling making station, and all of a sudden it disappeared uh, in the mix, like while we were doing dishes and stuff. So we were doing this whole back and forth. He was like, what did you do with the dumplings? And I was like, I didn't do anything, I didn't touch them. And he was like, well, I put it right here. Like, I don't know where it could have been. I didn't throw it out. Turns out, Rufus is the culprit and was caught on camera. <laughs> it is so funny. I'll put the clip right here. I started Singles Inferno. I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. I'm only about an episode in. I don't know, shows like that kind of make me a little cringe, but I'll keep giving it more of a chance. I take back everything I said about Singles Inferno. I'm in. I'm fully invested and there's only two episodes out on Netflix right now. My favorite is the girl who's really into boxing and the guy that she ends up going to paradise with. It's almost six now, so I'm going to be making some samgyetang for dinner, which is a ginger chicken soup. This dish is known to be super healing, and it's the go-to dish when you're sick. I've actually never made this before. I've looked at a bunch of recipes, obviously, including mangchi's recipes, and it looks easy enough, so let's try it out. You need jujube. And these are some dried chestnuts. I've got some fresh ginseng. This stuff is the more expensive one. These are ginger roots. Koreans swear by ginseng. It's supposed to boost your immunity. It does everything. So this is the key ingredient for when you're sick. This is a good size. 
a handful of garlic, one Cornish hen. And you want to take off these stems. And then for all the garlic, all you want to do is remove the tip. The sky turns gray against the fire this red and golden hues like the day. So coarse salt. So what will you do when the sun begins to fall? I'm waiting here for you. some salt here because you can dip the chicken pieces in it with some pepper wow oh my gosh look how the bone just falls off wow mm. we added toothpicks earlier i'm just gonna remove them and get some of that rice the sweet rice with some of the chicken oh yes Mm. I am stuffed. Probably gonna get some editing done now. Thank you guys for tuning into what I eat in a sick day. Hope you guys got some inspo out of some of the recipes I made and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe.